day, day four, we're about to go into the finals. Clearly, we're, we're prepared. I mean, well rested, well eaten, all the sleep we needed. We're gonna go in and just clap cheeks, I mean. Artist? Yes, sir. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? Ready for game day? Dude, I'm so fucking ready for game day. Yes, sir. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Ben, you ready? <laughs> It's game day, Jack. You too, my friend. <laughs> right, what, what you got? On, what you got on down here? Dude, we got the Alienware socks. Okay. It's no. game day. It's game day. We're gonna win this thing. Let's go. Woo! Woo! We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh no, not the phone drop. Uh oh. God damn it. Here you go. Here you go. 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 Let's go. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! No, that's my seat, though. All right, boys. Game day. Game game. Jack. Game, game. Game, game. game game. Your hair's looking a little funky. Yeah, of course. There you I go. would like it. We played it that way. We did. Ben? Yes, sir. You ready for today? We win in this, baby. How loud are you going to get? Hi, Mom. Patty, <laughs> <laughs> is that you? <laughs> I don't know, is it? <laughs> then what you got for breakfast over there? This is late breakfast, but I got me a nice chocolate donut oh, thing. I don't know what this is. Hey, give us a rundown. Uh, we're here at the Golden One Center, you know, just waiting to get in, hoping to have some time to warm up, get the boys ready to go, and, you know, win this tournament. What's our schedule looking like today? Schedule's looking like a little bit of warm up uh, until 10. The tournament starts at 10, first match, second match at 11 don't really know which one we're playing, but we'll figure it out. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to finally hop into these games. See you, Boulder versus Fullerton. We finally get to kick off this CESI final bracket. And we're talking about it. This is a tough one for CU Bulls. They've got a lot to prove against a very good team, but the start of the series matters so much for them. What a save from <laughs> Tricks in the corner. Manages to pitch, finds another shot, but Yokes will turn it away. Beautiful. But their defense is on point today. Ah, but they're still low on boost. You have to remember, this pressure is continuously mounting. Flover and Tricks are running on empty gas tanks. It's just fumes for them. You got to hold it. The rest of your team is on it. The fake by Riddles, too. Fake side goes low and puts one into the back of the net. In the last 10 seconds of the game, Riddle's beautifully bouncing that one up above Tricks and psyching Flover out. Fullerton come out with game number one. But boy, see, you really made him work for it. Very, very tough. All of a sudden, I think this team starts finding more attacking opportunities. And they had some good opportunities, but they had very, very minimal clears. And a lot of that had to do with the fact they, they, they were trying clears. They just didn't have the boost necessary to get there. And so being able to, uh, you know, maybe lock down the rotations a little bit more so that they can get a little more boost control over their side of the map, because having that defensive rotation to come back and get those two back corner boosts is very, very important. Or else big one in the air for Danny means CU Boulder. Back to the defense, which I think is something they're getting a little tired of hearing about being complete. Uh, I'm, I'm getting kind of sick of seeing the white side of the field. It's not very exciting, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, some great opportunities though, and already we can see the CU Boulders trying to adapt. It's gonna be what feels like another nail in the coffin here, as there's only 40 seconds left on the clock. Two goals now for CU Boulder to act. Is hopefully their mental hasn't taken a big beating because this is match point away by these members of Fullerton. Another back again on the defense. You gotta transition this ASAP. They need a goal before the timer hits zero seconds, or else that is it. Fullerton taking the three zero. Still not going to lose. Uh, not gonna add another tally to that four count of rounds that they've lost. Not and especially, books, yeah, right? <laughs> and, and especially not goals that were scored in those three rounds by Fullerton. So. Really, I mean, a force to be reckoned with are these three players. The the communication, the cohesion, the rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we now it's not for placement, so it's we can win. What, I mean, what, what were the issues? What were the issues? Mechanics weren't all the way on point, so it's hard to like, you know, pull it through. I think we did good enough. Uh, just got to tidy up some of our mistakes okay. um, on defense, and then really try to keep the pressure. So a lot of times we just weren't close enough. So they're able to get these doubles by us by the time we challenge. 
Yeah, they were more like predicting like where we're gonna hit the ball in our clears. So like they would stop and wait, and then obviously that riddles got fucking lucky. Yeah, you got some lucky ass plays, but you know that's bound to happen. Someone's gonna have a good game here and there, and uh, you just gotta play through it. players back there pretty creatively stacking some chairs up and then ah. running across them so good idea not bad at all anyway so we are back we are going into our first elim rounds it's going to be first to three this matchup is the really spicy one to be honest because um both of these teams are going to be fighting as hard as possible to get that third place to try to also just stay in the tournament and move on to the lower finals i think this just started out for either team because i want to say that Loyola had maybe the slowest start to a series I've seen in my entire life. Break actually to spend trying to get some scrim time in. So they're coming. Oh my goodness. See you, Boulder, though. Finding the first one here within the first 30 seconds. LMU are not relenting here. They're just very reminiscent of their matchup with SJSU just a little bit ago. Just to tie up three goals now Ooh. to lock it in. It is going to be another aggressive oh play here. Look my. at that. Trix is just gonna lock that one in. I mean, my guys gave him the soft solo play on two players. That, that's for the highlight reel right there. That one's gonna be clipped for Trix's highlight reel. Better whether or not there's a player actually coming behind them so they don't get caught up there. They'll oh. be all right, but Ooh. another ball down field leads to another goal. Five up for CU Bold as they find the low defense. Or at yeah. least so far, I would love to see that keep up. Right, a lot of these teams have been together for a long time. They communicate well. But there's oh, oh what a sick we. play. It's a, it's a great attempt at the save, but that's just not going to happen most of the time. It's a it's a guess for the most part. It's really the pass from Tricks that does it, though. Look at the placement. That is, you couldn't have handed it to him on a silver platter any better. Yep. Reading a player who's maneuvering around the ball in the air can be very difficult, right? They have the option of just letting go of the gas pedal and letting their car fall without ever touching the ball. And knowing that they have that is always so scary. And with that, see you, Boulder just continues with the momentum. And you get everyone over the table. I love hearing you. They're mental. They're cheering after every single play. This team is in it. Gosh, that was so close. Yo, Tiz looking for another one. Going off your own rebound play right there with the setup from Trick. So far, I would love to see that keep up. Nine, ten shots on goal from Yokes. Six of them went through. There's a team who's going up. Oh, my God, that angle. No way that actually worked. Take a really good connection because the double hit. We get a double commit. Oh, oh no! We have to maintain their boost control on top of that. I mean, that's like a trifecta right there. And they're gonna lock it in as Clover puts another one here on the board. Oh, I'm uh, I mean, really incredible considering it was a 3-0 sweep for Fullerton. Looking at this, it's been, like you said, such consistent pressure from CU Boulder. It is it's suffocating, it's mean, it's brutal, it's borderline. I don't even know if I can... Can you use the word cyberbullying on that? Uh, yeah, I, it, I, I it, think so. Apply? Like, are we going to get banned? We, we might be seeing cyberbullying right here, right now. I mean, it's it's BM at the, at the least. Almost logging in another one, and oh my goodness. CU Boulder is going to run away with this one, making a good start in the lower bracket. So the question, I guess, begs, what is the team going to do now going forward, right? Because they have to keep that momentum because they're going to play pretty much the most games out of all the teams. Yep. I mean, I don't know what kind of orange slices or pep talk <laughs> yes. they got there at lunchtime. How's your sandwich, Ben? I knew you wouldn't ask me unless you were recording. Confidence in a Rocket League team is actually like one of the most important yes. things. A confident team playing Rocket League because you're talking about absolute split second decision making. If you question yourself for a moment, you are going to be late. You are going to be slower than the other side. And being hyped up, being confident in your play means you're confident in your decision making, means you make it faster. Yeah, they're, they're talking to the different guys. Oh. What's up, boys? How'd we do? We did all right. Yeah. We closed out the series. What do you mean we did all right? All right, to the office, to the office. I mean, clearly we have a lot of... Uh... I'm man-spreading, so I'm obviously... <laughs> <laughs> obviously the alpha here. <laughs> all right, for real though, good series. You guys literally slapped on you. Suppose there are times when you lose your trouble mind. Suppose there are times when you're feeling fine. I mean, it goes both ways, right? Because yeah. you've got SJSU who are coming off of a loss and they have to reset their momentum. Boulder's trying to hold on, but I mean, looking at the pep talk they got earlier, looking at how well it affected them, I have no doubt that they're not only them, but their coach is going to be trying to keep them 
in it mentally, right? Hey, just cheering after everything. Because again, it's so important for these teams. And Boulder seems to have it in them to, to, to really back one another up. All the way down, is that it? No, just oh, wipe that. Around. That's it, zero, one, see you, Boulder, start things off right. Oh, and you can hear it behind us as well. They're fired up, they're feeling just as confident. And that's, I feel like that's all this team needs, just to juice themselves up a little bit, a fumble. But again, like you mentioned, it, it, there is fatigue as a factor. These, games, these teams have played a lot of games. In particular, seeing Boulder at the very beginning was, I mean, just over and over and over, rebounding shots. Back to the white side of the field. Johnny looking for a shot. Actually get the touch on that, Trix. Finds a great shot. You're gonna get punished oh, by yes. Yokes. That's a lot of forward oh, momentum. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. And it away. Yokes looking for it. There, there it is. is. A beautiful shot. You know, probably yeah. airbags. They probably have airbags. Yeah. Oh, whoa. It's Johnny. <laughs> San Jose going to, uh, you know, tie this back up. I said it was looking like a back and forth, back and forth, and so far that's what we're getting. What more can this team do? This isn't match point for anyone, by the way, so we do have at least one more round after this, minimum. A lot of teams really would have backed away at the yeah. second that ball started to bubble from, but with the comments they've got. Ooh, was stalled up, didn't have any boost, didn't have any momentum going forward. But they should be good to stop oh. this. Oh, great shot by Voltex, putting them up to match point. Really wants to get a shot taking on Fullerton. Uh, it's been blow for blow. There's been an adaptation from either side, each game trading back and forth. I mean, the amount of three-man commits we see into the attacking side is really indicative of that. They just do not fear anything. So Clover turns back to the corner, right over to Tricks. But that's a nice setup right there. Oh my goodness. They are both at match point, and uh, the trend continues. Really needed. But uh, hats off to see you, <laughs> They just barely get the save, but see you, Boulder. Get another attacking opportunity. Yokes again! These pass plays and make pass plays of your own as a young player is so dang impressive. And you know what? One more for the books! This is not the game we were expecting. This is not the outcome that we were expecting. But of all the teams to he take He moved in the day before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we are back. Grand finals, last game of the night or last game of the day. It's been a long day, but an exciting one. Absolutely exciting. Can't wait to see what ends up happening between Fullerton and Boulder. Boulder, I want to see some awesome play from them. I really do, yeah. Watching them in the last game, it was inspiring. Yeah. But you see Fullerton, and it's just like a whole other mm. level of, oh goodness, what are we going to do? But every time <laughs> we ask, what is Boulder going to do? They pull another rabbit out of their hat. So, I mean, at this point, it's up to them. For a fact that CU Boulder cannot get away with the map trading that they did <laughs> in the last one, they've got to convince us that they deserve to win this thing and no better opponent to do that against than Fullerton. Looking to make an aggressive play here. Yokes might be able to find a setup. It's going to be off the corner. It's going to set her down and it will be a shot on goal. There it is. Goes in. Fullerton maybe going in with a bit too much confidence. Yokes versus Riddles. I mean, we can't talk enough about these finishers and that's oh, all they do. My goodness. Yokes comes that much Rocket League today. And Boulder. Even that up, that one point advantage now completely null and void. It's a best of five. It's a best of five now, <laughs> folks. All right. No longer are Fullerton uh, undefeated in Boulder. Uh, Boulder didn't take a single round off them in the first match. They're going to take the very first one right here. Little things. But no, on the fly, Boulder is adapting new styles oh, of play. Yokes, you're and nuts. No way. Tricks once again with the setup. Yokes, you're crazy. I mean, I, ta I touched on it before. It looks like what a good aggressive push, and all oh, Boulder just appears out of nowhere. What are these members? Oh my goodness! I, I mean, this this manifestation is actually coming through. See you, Boulder. I shouldn't have doubted you, Fullerton. You gotta bring your game plan. Uh, you know, you gotta update your game plan. I think on this one. They got 3-0 earlier. The score was like eight to zero for Fullerton. Uh, what did they eat for lunch? Boulder to walk away with the big trophy, with the big gold bag of treats. Not the silver one, but of course, Fullerton is not out of this yet. They oh, three. Not. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a shot. Trix turns it away, but Danny will reinforce that one. And you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that, that uh, they do better from behind, because so far, oh, yeah. you know, once great. they find a lead, <laughs> once, once uh, Boulder finds a lead, I mean, they don't really let it go. 
but it seems like they're kind of thrown off the horse relatively easily. And so Fullerton might be able to take a big advantage of this. Five seconds left on the clock. They want to try to sink one in. They're in a good position to do so, but it will touch the ground and Fullerton will even things back up. It kind of feels like Riddles is still just getting back into it. Um, maybe that break for Fullerton was actually oh, a bad thing, but you know what, as I say it, he's getting back into it. Just a couple of rounds and Riddles is gonna go back to the ridiculous marksman that we know him to be. You can't discount the fact that there's constant growth coming through here. That oh, sick shot. is a beautiful play from Riddles, though the angle here is immaculate. Match point though, coming through for Fullerton. That first round by is going to place them there. They've won the last two rounds. They just need to find one more to send Boulder home with a slightly smaller trophy that doesn't quite say champion on it. It says second place. A little bit of a double commit there by, uh, I think it was actually Flover tapping Spood on uh -oh. that play. Uh oh, Riddles has the ball. Uh oh, Riddles has the ball! The slippery set up! Gets a piece of underneath the ball and it's just enough. Goes up. That's gorgeous, Rocket League. Field. And the fact that there's only one, okay. Uh, um, there, yeah, you said it. I said yeah, it. Said I it. said it. I brought the curse uh, upon myself at Riddles, picking up the first one there. So uh, three gold lead at 35 seconds. Make it Sorry. Four. Make that a four gold lead and give Danny a hat right there. I mean, Danny has really, really been showing up in this match. All the way, Tricks want something. 14 seconds. They could get a goal. They could get two. They could try and put something up on the board. But with the time on the clock, I can firmly say, ladies and gentlemen, your champions for CESI Finals are going to be CSU Fullerton. A California team taking to California. Danny, Danny, how can you do that to them? That is it. CSU Fullerton take it all the way. Holy cow, what a game. Seriously, that was intense. I mean, Fullerton was really slow at the start, but man, once they started going, they were going and ended up wrapping it up. Uh, GG's, definitely the boulder though. Not easy being the underdog. The chips, like I said before, were just completely stacked against them from the beginning. They were coming in at a 0-3 for a while, you know, and, and Boulder was really looking like they were gonna just take the entire thing home for the longest time. Hello, Marlon Moore, here to present the second place trophy to Colorado. There we go, that's good. Yeah, obviously not the result we wanted, but we played pretty fucking good today, right? What do you think, boys? How do we, we do overall? We did pretty good. You know, there's always room to improve and get first, but second's not too bad, and we're taking home the bag. So. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ryan. Happy birthday. Man. What competition? What's her name? What competition? <laughs> oh, they come from who knows where? Where? What? <laughs> Never even heard of. Yeah, Fullerton. Yeah, I mean, Fullerton. San, what is that? San, what is that? San what? Oh my <laughs> god.